Hey folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. We are working on a 2003 Chrysler Town & Country today. Um, the complaint, the original complaint was that the, uh, the front windshield washer motor was not working. So the, the owner said that anytime they, they pushed the button, uh, the windshield washers would work, but uh, no fluid would come out. So, they took it to a local shop. The local shop checked the fuse and said that the fuse was good. Uh, they said that they checked the motor and that the motor was bad. So, the owner took it upon themselves to go ahead and based off of their advice, um, they cut the motor that they believed was bad, cut the connector off, and installed a universal motor and it still did not work. So, uh, they ended up finding me, and I started to diagnose it. Now then, on the 2003 Chrysler Town & Country, in order to access the windshield washer reservoir, you will have to remove the air breather housing. Okay, so you'll want to get that out of the way. And that's one 10 millimeter bolt right here. Okay. And then you're going to want to go underneath, turn your tire as far out as you can, and you're going to have to re remove the fender covering, the inner fender covering, and you'll have a cavity right back in here, and that is where your reservoir goes. So I went ahead and removed the reservoir so I could get this whole thing worked on accordingly and go from there. So the first thing that I've done and diagnosing this when somebody complains that uh, something like this doesn't work is check the electric motors themselves which means uninstalling and then going over here and I'll show you how we'll do this okay I got a row of batteries here use them for many different things sometimes I resell them I find a good one I get a couple wires on one end of my battery cables, a positive and a negative, all right? And I hook up to a good battery and I stick it in there and I test. I supply direct power to see if those motors run. And I'll tell you, the motors are good. So no need to cut any wires, no need to replace any motors. Uh, they run and they're good. So we're good there. So we will need to go ahead and either repair or buy a new connector that we can replace. So now that we know the motors are good, the next step was to go in and check the fuse. And we identified front washer fuse. And we're good. Okay, and so this fuse is good. And just for fun, we'll check the other washer fuse. That's good. We know that works. And they're both good. So once I check that and check that all was good there, really the next step in this process is going to be checking for the switch. Now on the 2003 Chrysler, uh, to get to the switch, you're going to need to remove the upper and lower coverings on the steering column. And that's going to be three Phillips head screws that you're going to have to go up underneath from to get to. And then once you've done that, in order to get to the switch itself, you'll have one and then up on top two. Phillips head screws to pull out and then also you'll need to pull your connector down your plastic clippy down So then you can go ahead and unplug it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this because Most people would go ahead and just replace it I'm gonna actually show you how I'm gonna dissect it and see if I can clean it and get it to work again Okay, so this is what we call the multifunction switch and it operates your washers, your blinkers, your bright lights, and your front windshield washer motor. 
So I'm going to dissect this. I'm going to go ahead. I can see here that we need a Torx bit. So I have a Torx bit. And I'm going to go ahead and use this Torx bit. And I'm going to pull this back cover off very slowly and very carefully. And actually, I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm going to flip it over. This is going to be your electronic side. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pull this cover off with the same Torx bit. Let's take a peek inside of here and see how dirty it is and see if we can't clean it up and fix this before we go spend a bunch of money replacing it. All right, so I'm ready to take this off. Okay, and there's our circuit board. All right, now I'm going to lay this out here. And remember that this needs to really be backwards. This needs to be, this really is going to be like this. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We've got, all right, what's moving there? Okay, so that, that's our blinkers connection, which now our blinker connector is right here. And look how dirty and nasty that is. Camera doesn't do it justice. I need to get a better, uh, better camera, guys. Hopefully I can get YouTube up and running good so I can get some better camera equipment. But that's just nasty and dirty. Um, so let's see. We've got our button here. Up oh, there we go, right there. All right. So there's our there's our um, window washer motor. Okay, and that's working. And that's going to slide and make connection onto there. All right, and that's real nasty. Okay, so, so long as the solder connections are good on the circuit board. Let's see if we can't clean this and fix this. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and get some uh, electric grease out and put all this back together. I'll be right back. All right, so big difference. I have removed this simply by lifting it off and pulling it out. Okay, the motherboard there. I've removed that. I've got that cleaned up. I'm going to get my contact points cleaned up and uh, get some new grease on there and see what happens. Okay, so after pulling the circuit board, cleaning it all up, reinstalling and checking, I still am not getting any any and any signal, any power to the motor, although the motor checks out good. The motor is not bad and the fuse is good. So I'm gonna call it for what it is and say that yes, uh, it's time for a new multifunction switch. So there you go folks. That's how I do things around here. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out and supporting me. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Let's put our heads together and see if we can save you some money. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.